Okay, boys and girls, the moment we've all been waiting for, the schedule has arrived. And I'm very excited. What's going on, everyone? My name is Ryan, and if you already knew that, thank you so much for coming back and watching another video. We're going to be reacting to the 2022 Las Vegas Raiders schedule. This is not, I repeat, not going to be a win-loss prediction video. That will be coming very soon. I just want to talk through the schedule here, some interesting things I see about it, some notable games. Brian Edwards also just got traded. That happened like five minutes before I clicked record. We'll do a separate video on that in the coming weeks. Last thing I'll say, I took a week off uh, after I finished school. So starting today, we're full steam ahead. So you get this video today. Then next week, the schedule is Monday Madden, Wednesday random video, Friday Madden, forever. We're going, baby, we're going. Let's talk about this schedule. So let's talk about the elephant in the room here. Only a couple primetime games. Now, people will have you say, there's only two primetime games. Well, I think there's three because the Christmas Eve one, oh no, we got Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. So people say there's only two primetime games. Uh, the Patriots is Sunday Night Football, and then the Chiefs is Monday Night Football. Now, I think Thursday night is also primetime, and then we play Christmas Eve, also at 8.15. So I would say we have four true blue primetime games. The first thing that my eyes immediately go to is that Patriot game. That's going to be insane because as you know, Josh McDaniels, Dave Ziegler, former Patriots, uh, we basically stole like their whole staff. So that game is going to be, you know, playoff implication heavy. And also it's just gonna be really interesting to see Josh McDaniels on a sideline facing off against his master, if you will. Bill Belichick. Uh, another thing that jumps out to me immediately is we got some winnable games on this schedule. There are a lot of teams on this with what I would like to call quarterback question marks. The Texans and the Saints, a little iffy at that position. Then we got Jacksonville. We got the Colts who just traded for Matt Ryan. The Seattle Seahawks, Drew Locke, I believe, unless they trade for Baker. The Steelers with Trubisky. The 49ers with Trey Lance. Interesting, interesting stuff here. You could throw Mac Jones in there as well. Here's what it comes down to, the way I look at this schedule. And, and then we'll go game by game. My overarching thoughts are, if we could go three and three in the division, just stay above water in the division, we're going to make the playoffs. I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. If, you know, Josh McDaniels, isn't what we think he is or it doesn't play up to a standard or isn't as advertised or not plays up to a standard coaches up to a standard uh we could be in trouble but if he is the guy and this offense meshes we don't know what's going on with that third receiver spot maybe demarcus robinson now that brian edwards is traded this could be a really fun year and there's a lot of winnable games now let's just go down the line here week one september 11th 425 LA Chargers instant rematch of week 18 one of the best football games I've ever seen in my life gonna be fun to see Mac go up against Carr in a Charger uniform we get to see Chandler Jones and Devontae Adams our new guys it's gonna be a good litmus test to see just how improved they are defensively just how improved we are offensively big test game for our offensive line a bunch of question marks there very very interesting week two against the Cardinals we got lucky here that we play them early enough to where we don't have to see DeAndre Hopkins because he's suspended for, perform for performance enhancing drugs. I think that's a very winnable game. I'm not really afraid of the Arizona Cardinals. I think they are sort of empty calories is sort of what I like to call the Cardinals. They're, they they are fun, but they don't really have an identity. I don't know what they are. Week three is gonna be a tough game. That's a, that's a tough place to play in Tennessee. Derrick Henry, he's just unstoppable. We have a hard time stopping the run. That's going to be a Patrick Graham game. Uh, they traded A.J. Brown, but they have Robert Woods now. I don't know if Robert Woods is going to be back in time for that. You think he should be? Could be making that up. I don't know. Then week four is our first attempt at Russell Wilson. Interesting. I don't know if the Broncos are going to be good or bad. Is Russ back? You know, he kind of was struggling last year, but he came off an injury, but he was kind of fat. I don't know. Then we get prime time. Joe Buck, Troy Aikman calling the Raiders at the Chiefs. Another interesting thing here that I don't remember the last time this was the case. We play the Chiefs first in Kansas City, which means that the next time we play them, which is week 18, we don't have to worry about the weather because it'll be 
in Las Vegas. So I finally appreciate that they throw us a bone there. Gonna be a really tough game. Interested to see how they do with that Tyreek Hill. You know, it's gonna be interesting. This whole season is gonna be very interesting. And as I, as I look here, I can't wait to do my win-loss predictions. I cannot wait because everybody likes to play it safe and say, you know, 10 and seven. Okay, so we have our bye week a little bit early for me, but it is what it is. Then we go on a run here of games that we really should win. We are better than the Texans. We are better, I, I like Davis Mills, but we're better than the Texans, we're better than the Saints, we're better than the Jags, we're better than the Colts. It's just, I, Matt Ryan is an upgrade from Carson Wentz, but the, the difference between those two, um, just pure skill-wise, is that Matt Ryan can't move. So if we can get pressure on Matt Ryan, we should win that game. That, that should be four wins if we play up to our potential. Now, East Coast games, trap games, Trevor Lawrence, Doug Peterson, we don't know. We don't know. We'll see. Then we're back to uh, Denver. I would say still relatively early in the year where you don't have to worry about the weather too, too much. It could be cold, but it won't be like 10 degrees. Uh, Seattle, really tough place to play. But like I said, the theme of this schedule is we play teams with question marks at the quarterback position. You can honestly throw Denver in there too. It's a question mark. It's a good question. Like, will Russ be Hall of Fame Russ or just pretty good Russ, which is the best quarterback they've had since Peyton Manning. Then we are hitting the home stretch of really tough games with Chargers, Rams, Patriots. That is a little stretch there. If we are, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we are eight and three, we have a little bit of cushion here to lose one or two, lose two of these three, and be eight and five going or nine and five going into the last three, which I think is a lock to get to the playoffs because we should beat the Steelers and the 49ers. But if we're like it was 11 games, so if we're like 6-5, and five, then we ha almost have to beat the Patriots, which saying have to beat the Patriots seems like a thing that should happen on paper, but Patriots are tough, man. They're always tough. But those are three interesting games. Defending champs in L.A. Um, interested to see how many Raider fans are there Thursday Night Football. That would be Al Michaels and Kurt Herbstreit. Just a lot, of, a lot of moving parts here in the NFL now with all the broadcasting changes. Then the last three games are really, really cool. Christmas Eve against the Steelers. Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, who knows. Then we got Trey Lance. Almost a game you have to win if Trey Lance is just, you know, a, a middling rookie who's struggling. If he's like Patrick Mahomes' rookie year, okay. We might be in trouble. But assuming he's just, you know, some good, some bad, growing pains, that's a game you have to win because week 18, that could be to get into the playoffs. That could be to win the division. Uh, who knows, you know? Maybe we are in, in such a position where we could just rest our starters. Wouldn't that be nice? That's a thing we've never been able to do since I've been alive. But yeah, man, this schedule is is one that I like. I don't really care about the amount of primetime games we got versus the Broncos. If we start playing well and they suck, we'll get flexed into those games. Uh, like I said, I think the theme of this schedule is quarterback question marks. If we could stay healthy, we could go on a sneaky little run here. I think we got the roster to contend. Just got to show up that offensive line and figure out what we're doing with that third wide receiver now that Brian Edwards has been traded. The Falcons. Looks like it's going to be Mariota to Edwards. Interesting there. Uh, the preseason games, we got four of them. You know, uh, they changed up our, our... I don't think I remember playing any of these teams in the preseason besides the uh, Vikings. I remember we played a couple times a while ago. But yeah, man, that's the schedule breakdown, the reaction. Like I said, next week, we're back. Three videos a week. Uh, the video on Wednesday, it's going to be different every time. I would say it's a good chance that Wednesday's video is going to be me talking about Brian Edwards, then the following one is probably going to be my record prediction. And then from there, I got to do different topics. If you guys have any topics you want me to cover in those Wednesday videos, comment below, let me know. We hit 3,000 subs, I already mentioned that, that's amazing. We're, gonna, we're, we're going, baby, we're going. Let me know what you thought about the schedule. Please be sure to subscribe. It is free after all, no charge to you, and just win, baby.